All right, here we go. We've got Nitsu. Three. Nitsu, but I'll call him Nitsu anyway. Uh, versus Iphos, and it is not important um, why Iphos is going to win this, but it's going to be important to see how far Nitsu comes in his last land. So there we go. So we've got some old favorites, let's say, for this land anyway. And uh, so far, no blood has been spilled. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and work out the item timers. I know the yellows are important, but I can't seem to get the HUD right. So, because uh, this is a beta client, this is a land client we're using. So there we go, some uh, little bit of fighting. I am following Nitsu, who um, has most to prove, really. Is going to forego the yellow armor. Cypher's got the red. So the, the announcements are there, <laughs> but um, yeah, I haven't really been able to fiddle around with this because I am also administrating this tourney. I'm hoping to get this on stream as well later on. So there we are, that's the first shot, that second shot, not a lot of armor left for Nitsu, so he really does need to get out there. We recovered a little bit. Mega is there. Nice challenge on the Mosaifles there. And we are LG Revenge. No more rockets. Needs to rely on the rail, but that was that kind of preventive rail you see a lot in, in players that, you know, just firing in the unknown, trying to, hoping for a hit instead of aiming for it, which is very common to people who get out of focus or even out of control. Um. At the lower end, of course. That's this is all lower end. Oh, nice shotgun intercept. Could have, could have done with something else, but uh, he doesn't have another weapon. At the bottom, you can see the weapons. So now gathering up a little bit. So still one to nil, which isn't that bad on Cure here. Sneaky, sneaky Nitsu. I'm staying with Nitsu because I well Zyphos might be a bit more interesting, but I want to see how a player like Nitsu actually moved. That's kind of the deal here, you know, because we don't have that many high-end players, well, world-class players, let's say. He hears him, he, see, he doesn't see him. Four seconds on Mega, the timing's there, but Zyphus is going to intercept the lunge there, and of course, going through the teleport is going to take him out. Because Zyphus knows these things. Red Arm has been up for a while now. Cyphos is gonna pick that one up. Uh, missing that one, yeah, need to be careful with those teleporters, that's how the map works. This is of course Nitsu's pick, I believe. Don't think that was a well-informed decision, but that's okay. Oh, bit of a big count of guard there, minus two, everything is fine. And join me as I try to combat a sneeze that's coming up. <coughs> I'm good, I'm good. Oh, he's gonna steal the Mega, is he? Without any damage? Oh, yeah, a miss from Zyphos there. Oh, the Grenade Launcher comes in, but does not do anything for him. No armor here. No armor, no armor, no armor. Oh, Zyphos actually going to run away a little bit there. Still quite a few. Oh, gotta steal the yellow in front of him. And yeah, so Nitsu's problem there was a complete lack of ammo. That's fun. We don't judge, we only observe. That's a lie, but um, all right, four seconds on. He does know Mega's gonna be here, I think. Yes, no, he's gonna abandon it. That's okay, that's, that's a tactic. Maybe challenge on it. Yeah, the misses that one, that was, was kind of critical. Uh, Nitsu being a CS player, I believe, as well. So the rail should come naturally to him. That's probably why he does those preventative shots. Preventive shots. Whatever. There's a word in English that describes what I was thinking about, but that's fine. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, Zyphal's a little early on that as well. Nice shot from Nitsu, so there is some damage being done. It's half the damage Nitsu's doing to him, but uh, that's fine. Mega is up. And uh, it's not going to be challenged by anyone. He's actually waiting for him. Zyphos is waiting for him. Look at that. He's going to be stolen by Nitsu, but that is probably going to spell doom. Nitsu now running away with only 80 health. 
for a couple of seconds left on the red, so really needs to die for red if he wants to do that, but the red is going to go to Xyphos. Might be smart not to challenge him on ATL, but I've seen other things happen. No, no, the diamond's gone. He's gone. Red's not there. Maybe go for the yellow, but that's been taken as well, I do believe. Nitsu now going down. The one thing I told Nitsu before this was all starting was to stay positive. Namely, not the creator and get the miners on the board. Because I really do believe that that's an important step for people to make. Like, be getting beaten by someone without cratering or dying. Or being pummeled in the air with an LG. It's important to have not be completely and utterly destroyed. There's still some fight here. I mean, the positioning is very difficult, especially on this map. Oh my god, that's a direct rocket. You know, completely out of position, but... He did hit that. <laughs> Trying to do the ledge jump, not quite. Red's up, but he's not going to go for it, and he's going to surrender that. Without really knowing, I think. Uh, five seconds on Mega. Now he needs to be really careful with those position shots. But look, yeah, he is, look, I mean, his, his crosshair movement is good. He's always looking at where the opponent can be. It's just that, you, there you go, there you go. Now he runs out of freaking everything. Hey, see, that's an improvement. He knew the teleporter. He, the map knowledge is there. I'm getting that green as well. Go again, sorry. I'm going to try and get yellows up on the item timers, but so far. The two items have been a long way away, so Xyphos knows this and is now going to go in for another frag. Three. Two, one, stuck, stuck, stuck. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. That's novel. Doesn't know he's 2 HP. Oh, no! He didn't listen. He didn't listen. Alright, minus, minus one to six. I could live with that. Doing some damage. 1 HP. He actually managed to get 1 HP. If he jumps down now, he's gonna be minus 2. Dear God, dear God, please don't jump. Thank you, Xyphos. You saved him from an embarrassment. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's some LG right there. Yeah, that's, that's a skill. That's a thing to do. Now you're gonna go for rail and miss it. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, Mega's up. What are you gonna do about that? You're gonna get shot in the ass. That's what's gonna happen. Wait, well, no, actually. Zyphos. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Both of them. See, he, he knows that little little place to spam rockets so there's quite a lot of game knowledge here it's just yeah he does that he sits in the middle of a corridor without any sort of hope in the world of ever beating because the, the, the concept of control I think is something that's very alien still to a lot of mid-level players namely that it's okay not to go full out in a fight you need to pick away you need to steal items you need to outmaneuver your opponent. Being out of control is about that. And it's not hopeless at all. This is up. This was hopeless from the start, like I said, but it's an important match nevertheless. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate getting propped up there with the LG just One minute warning. moments away from grabbing that yellow armor. Yeah, when you're out with the uh, with the machine gun, never a good sign. Four seconds, Omega. He does not know this. Oh, another another minus one. Come on, dear, dear, dear. Two more rockets. Oh God, he got lucky. I don't know if it, that 11 damage would have gone and killed him, uh, but uh, the water saved him, I'm sure. 
We are now in the last remaining seconds, and I'm sad to say that there might not be enough time for Nitsu to bring this back from the brink. Sadly enough, that will be all she wrote. Here we are, first 10 minutes. I'm going to keep it running. And, uh... <laughs> definitely didn't have the time. Okay, he was planning a comeback, everyone, so... Uh, Lost World now, no rail. That might be interesting. It's always it's always interesting because rail is still a very much a clutch, a crutch. Oh crap! I said clutch, didn't I? I hate that word. Sorry, forgiveness. But. Um, I oh, might not play this. Zyphos so might actually play this. Just to LG it out. Yep, there you go. So it's pick, pick, and then the loser decides. Sadly, there will be no loser pick. And really, for Zyphos, it's not really going to matter that much. There we go. Right. Slight incentive. Frag has been made with sadly a warm up which does not count towards the global score. Just wanted a uh, good luck and have fun. I will be following Nitsu again. No, let's not. Zyphos, show you, show people what you got. And that's not a Rick and Morty reference. This is. I think he's ranked like. He's not that. Bad. He's he's in the top. He's in the top twenty, I believe, of uh, of Dutchland. So uh, Netherlands, of course. Does do the red jump. There it is. And that's timing on the mega as well. It's refreshing to see. Unique almost. And it is never where, ever where, everywhere and everywhere. What? I'm running on very little amounts of sleep, and it's been a very trying tournament because there's been a lot of forfeiting going on because people suddenly realized that Quake is a game still people still play, and it wasn't going to be some kind of silly thing because there's actual money on the line here. There's a thousand euros on the line, a thousand two hundred, even five hundred cash. So this isn't just a joke, but many people are still treating it as such, and that's a shame. I'm gonna switch to the Hyder, Nitsu, who still manages to get 75 in stack, which is impressive. They're really battling for that Mega here, but is not going to challenge it at the end. Going to challenge it with his life, actually. Oh, good escape there. Lava for Nitsu. Really need some health now. Ah, it does that jump. That's advanced. Pressing forward on the jump pad. Not something you see every day. Two, one. Oh, he's so close. Oh, he was so close. I was a little late even. He would have stayed put. He would have had it. Oh, he's not going to stay positive, is he? 
And that's a three. Position shot with a plasma, very favored amongst the lesser skill inclined. Because it does do a lot of damage if your opponent doesn't move. The big if, oh god. It's okay, Nitsu, stay positive, man. I'm sure you can manage a kill here somewhere. See, but he doesn't use the... Well, he doesn't have the LG. I don't know he realizes where the LG is. He needs the LG. There's the LG. You want the LG. It's something you need on this map. It is important. Red armor would be nice as well, but there's nothing... Here. Oh, that's good. No, not again! Okay. Problem. Yeah. There was an issue. <laughs> That's okay, you got your Omega timing. No, no, don't back off again. God damn it. It's like he sort of has the timing, but doesn't. And now he's going to run into Cyphos, who also didn't have the timing. Double whammy. Uh, in the large scheme of things, it wouldn't really matter, but still. Would have been a nice thing. You know, grabbing Omega as a single major item. He did have it once. Hasn't had red yet. Red's still there. Typhus isn't even going for it. Saving it for a rainy day, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, well, rainy days now, man. Typhus, nice positional shooting with the plasma. We have to say this. Red's now gone. Mega's up, mega's up, mega's up, mega's up, 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 mega's 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 gone. Oh, that was that. That's good. That's good. That was good. Caught him off guard. There is evolution. Still don't know about those yellows. Red arm is gone again. There's a yellow. You want a yellow? Who you call a yellow? Four again, he's got the time on Mega. He really does. But he's gonna lose it again. That's progress, you see. This is not bad play. Yes, he's a, he's a lesser player, but he does have the timing, so there's hope. Except his reluctance to go for red. And also, his reluctance to get the fuck out when he's got all 50 HP left, but, you know, to each his own. Five, four. See, he's gonna dodge it again. This is pathological. This is absolutely. This is a sickness. It's incredible. He knows the timing, but he doesn't realize he has the timing. It's a schizophrenic thing going on there. The Quaker inside him lures him towards the mega health. But sadly, to no avail, because. The conscious... See, no, no! Why are you even here? Wow! A pox on him. Red would be cool. Like, one. One red. It's kind of... If this were a reflex, it would have been even more important. That was a lot of missing, though. Four, three, still there. He died in the mega room. Get up again. This time he's not there, but neither is Eiffel, so he's gonna sidestep it. Urge to coach increasing. Oh, hello, yes, that's your opponent. It's a good direct. But um, sadly, not near enough. Oh, 
bad time to run out. Oh my god, he, he did it. He had, he had perfect mega timing. He actually did it. This is what Cyphus knows it. That's how excited I am right now. One minute and 30, mi 30 hours remain. Sadly, he missed the second one, but that's okay. in Quake. So 9 inch nail lyrics. Still an aversion to red armor from both players actually. Well now, 16, 15, 12. I don't know. And somehow Zyphos still in the lead. Some good LG there. That was a good fight. Look at that. Hey, listen, listen. There's a scream. There was 50. Nitsu did an amazing engagement. Still dies, but regardless, that was a moment. That was the first window I've seen all game. He could have taken control, theoretically, purely in theory. Both. Well, now Mega's gone. Red's gonna be gone in a minute as well. Itsu contents himself with a couple of shards. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Running a bit too much forward, but okay. But again. Cyphos with some deficit in health. Not a full stack. And there we are. Minus 3 to 14. Close call again. But um, I think we've all learned something from this game. I really do believe. Anyway, that's that. And uh, more exciting games. Perhaps even live streamed later on. Bye-bye.